I'm Rick Sayer of the Worcester Business Journal with tonight's Central Mass Business Report. Could Worcester become a center for biomanufacturing? A new report says the city has what it takes to become the home for companies in that growing sector of the economy. The report was written by the big four firm PricewaterhouseCoopers. It says Worcester's long manufacturing history and a more affordable cost of living help make the city a good home for biomanufacturing firms. And that would avoid sending jobs out of Massachusetts. The report also cited what are called high-quality educational institutions that can help. The report recommends that the state and industry form a public-private partnership and establish an innovation zone for biopharmaceutical manufacturing in Worcester. It also suggests that the city collaborate on growing the industry with similar facilities located on the UMass campuses in Lowell and Dartmouth. Price Waterhouse said biopharma manufacturing is losing ground in the U.S. It said almost 40 percent of finished drugs and 80 percent of active ingredients are obtained from foreign countries. A new report found a 57 percent increase in potentially fraudulent insurance claims in Massachusetts from 2010 to 2012. The National Crime Bureau said the highest number of questionable claims in the state came out of Worcester, Boston and Springfield. The report included data on 17 different types of insurance policies. It said common potential fraud cases included people reporting exaggerated injuries, seeking excessive medical treatment, and filing suspicious reports of vehicles being hit while parked. The report said the number of questionable claims coming out of Worcester rose from 47 in 2010 to 79 last year. Boston and Springfield each had more questionable claims than Worcester. For more on these stories and others, please visit our website, wbjournal.com.